My name is Randir Behel. I'm now, I've crossed seven decades of life. Sometime in the late 70s, early 80s maybe, I used to live in Malabar Hill and I used to work in the fort area in an ad agency. And every morning I had to go down the hill, drive along Marine Drive to get to office. Every day I'd cross this lovely motorcycle, green color, with a guy in khaki shorts and a khaki shirt, going sedately, maybe 30, 35 miles an hour. I'd be tearing past him because I was always late to work. Two years I'd be seeing this Monday to Friday. One day I mentioned to a friend of mine who had Norton, Dominator, that's right, he had a Dominator. I mentioned to a friend, listen man, I want a bike like yours, can you get me one? Can you help me? Can you find one for me? So we looked around, Matchless, Norton, Triumph. And nobody was selling, or the price didn't suit me, or the condition wasn't what I really wanted. And then suddenly I heard that the guy who owned that BMC 405 that I would overtake every day had died. And his wife wanted to sell the bike. Oh, I said, yeah, why not? That's a lovely bike. Yeah, who's this lady? Where do they live? Let's go. So we went. The bike was parked in the drawing room. It's a small house. The man had set a price when he was dying and the whole family says, we can't change his wishes. This is what we want, take it or leave it. So I took it. And with it came hundreds of bloody spanners. Uh, bits and pieces coming out from places. I said, damn good. I took it out, wheeled it to a panchar wala, filled up the air, got some petrol, put it in, started the bike, drove 100 meters and the bike stopped. Corroded points, etc, etc, etc. I guess it was expected. So we got a mechanic, again a very old man called Mohammed, who lived in that uh, Gwalia tank area. He was a bike mechanic and only a bike mechanic, old man. I mean, he knew, his, he was blind, but he knew the size of spanner that fitted a particular part of the bike. Kicked the bike, got it running, and I took it home. I drove the bike every day to work. I would go to Taj, Taj Mahal Hotel and just take to Valley Park and park my bike. Of course, they threw me out. But I was a bolshi kind of guy, I loved doing that. In those days, there was no security, so you couldn't move. Drive in and say, park my bike. And then, uh, one day I said, okay, now it's okay driving with rusty rims. So I decided to restore her. Uh, and I said, listen, I'm tired of these dull British post-war colors. And I said, make it a nice Honda red. Uh, sent all the parts for chromium plating to Dhanu, many, many miles away. Every spoke we counted and gave, every nut we counted and gave, the handlebar, every, the whole bike was like taken to bits and pieces. The oil sump, the oil sump cover, the, the toolbox, uh, everything was taken apart, part by part and reassembled. That took six months, but it was a joy. Uh, to get the bike. I've got the original photograph the day she was restored and given back to me. She's been a joy to drive. I've been driving her around here. Unfortunately, today I can't drive her. I mean, that mass of the ton of steel on that bike, I just can't pull her on the stand and then the high compression on the engine. I can't start the bike. So, unfortunately, regretfully, I have to give the bike away to somebody who can cherish a bike and not modify the bike. But the joy of driving one of these old blunder bluts is sheer joy. It's bliss. So, I think I'll always have these around.